Okay, so distributive property. Yeah. It's in your, well, this is a blank sheet. We'll get to that. I'm going to do numbers first. It's a really important property. My students in calculus have a tough time with it. No. I sure I do. <laughs> okay. So the distributive property is an important property. I like to think of this as mailboxes. If I want to do 2 times 3 plus 5, there are two ways to do this. What's nice about mathematics, you should have your packets out. Andrew, your packet. Some place to write. Uh, you don't have one? Math always has to work out. No matter how I do the problem, it doesn't matter. I'll find this slide. Okay. 2 times 3 plus 5. There's two ways to do this problem. Board of Operations says we have to do what first? 3 plus 5. What's 3 plus 5? We know this. What's 3 plus 5? 8. What's 2 times 8? 16. This is a blank sheet. I'm just doing, doing with numbers. Okay? Does everybody believe that that's true? Now, think of these as mailboxes now. And you're stuffing mailboxes. I can also distribute this. I can do this. I can multiply my 2 through my parentheses. So I end up getting this. 2 times 3, and this is a plus, and then I have to do 2 times 5. And I better get the same answer. If I don't get the same answer, then I did it wrong. So this is 6 plus 10, which is 16. Well, the main problem that I see with this, with the distributive property, students don't want to take the 2 times the 5. Now I'm going to ask you to think a little bit. Okay, Riley? Think. This is 8, right? How could I just take 2 times 3? That's not going to be, give me the same as 2 times 8, because I'm neglecting the 5. So you have to take the 2 times everything that's in that parentheses. Think of stuffing mailboxes. Every mailbox gets to be multiplied by the 2. And I really don't have this up here right. It's distributed property of multiplication over addition. And it's not correct without that. Because you think that everything distributes, and that's not true. <clears throat> Let me give you another numerical example. What if I have 2 plus 3 squared. Does that exponent distribute? I'm gonna, let's try it. Order of operations. Corey, what do I get? I'm gonna, I want to simplify that. Order of operations says do what's in the parentheses first. So it's 5 squared, which is 25. Let's try distributing that too, because my other students do it all the time. So if you were to distribute it, you would get 2 squared plus, and then you would get 3 squared. Remember, in math, everything has to come out to the same answer. One of them is right, and one of them is wrong if they're not the same. Now, first off, do you believe this? 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 squared is 25. Do you believe that one? 2 plus 3? That's 5. 5 squared is 25. Do you believe that that's probably true? Do you believe in that or no? Okay. What about this one? This gives you what? 4. What's 3 squared? Not 6, but 9. It gives you 
13. I believe this one's true. So guess what? That can't happen. So when we talk about distributed property, you have to watch your operations. I have to have multiplication over addition. And next year, you will start seeing more of these things. What are we going to do with that 2 plus 3 quantity squared? There's a way to multiply it out. If you remember long multiplication, you remember how to multiply numbers? I want to multiply it like this. Because if I multiply, oh, 19 times 15, do you remember how to do that? 5 times 9 is, what's 5 times 9? 45, carry the 4. Remember doing that stuff? That's why I don't like that uh, last method, the multiplication, because you don't see this. Well, I can do the same thing here. I can do 3 times 3, which is 9. Then I can do 3 times 2, which is 6. And then I can do this 2 times 3, which is 6. I can line them up, doesn't matter. Or 2 times 2, which is 4. If I add these up, what's that give me? 4 plus 6. 10. What's 6 plus 9? 15. See, it's, if it were 6 plus 10, I'd have 16. But I'm one short. So I do a little tricks. What's that add up to? 25. Guess what? That got me the same answer that I believed in. Okay, why am I showing you this? Because I want you to realize the distributive property does not work for every single thing. And because we drill it into you about distributive property, you apply it to every single thing. And unfortunately, it doesn't work. Can I change the order when I add two numbers? If I add two and three, can I add three and two? Do I get the same answer? I'll write it out in a second. I think I've got to go back to that old file. I don't think it's there, but okay, let's go back here. Do I get the same answer if I do 2 plus 3 and 3 plus 2? Adam, do I get the same answer? Yeah. Order doesn't matter when I add, but does it matter when I subtract? What about 2 minus 3 and 3 minus 2? I know for some of you, those look an awful lot alike, but are they the same things? What's 3 take away of 2? That's the easy one. That's 1. What's this one? 2 take away 3. Negative 1. They're not the same answer. So I can't switch order when I do subtracting. Same with dividing. So you have to be really careful about what your operations are. Things do not always apply in every single situation. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can find the, the sheet that you have for the distributive. Otherwise, I'll just write it. That one? Is that the same? There we go. A3. Okay, so what do we do? Oh, I hate this one. It's in black. <laughs> Why is this not? There we go. What do we do when we distribute with letters? That's no big deal. It's easier. Actually, it's easier. Because I don't have to know very much arithmetic. So, I'm going to try and find a marker here that's going to work. Do I have a white one? Let's try the green. It'll let me know if this doesn't work. Oh, can you guys see that? What's 3 times x? It's 3x. How easy can that be? Okay, I really recommend that you put the little arrows in, because I don't want you to forget anybody. So this is 3x. And what now you have to distribute here, 3 times 2, plus what? That's 3 times 2. You want me to write it 3 times 2, or you want to just multiply it? That's it. That's it. That's all distributed property is. What if I had had it written backwards, 3 times 2 plus x? Do I get a different answer? No, because I get what? 6 plus? 3x. This is what I like about algebra. I love multiplying numbers times letters because there's nothing to do. Now, if I tell you what x is, if x is 5, then I can do the problem. I can actually come out with a number. x just represents some number. I don't know what number it represents. Yeah, I should have a white pen. Maybe I have one over here. That would help. I have to go to tools. Oh, 
No, I just want a regular pen. Pen. Can I do it? Now, can I change the color? Pen. Nope, I don't. There you go. There we go. Make it bigger. Okay. This should work. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, that's much better, isn't it? Well, what's the negative one times x? Negative one x. That's so tough, isn't it? Okay, Keaton, what's negative one times three? It's going to change the sign of my three. So what's it going to be? Negative three. I can write it plus a negative three, or I can write it negative one x minus three. Eventually, we should hopefully see that these are the same things. Yes. No, or I could just write it negative x minus 3. All those are correct. Okay, let's try the next one. You should be doing these with me. You got a piece of paper. They're all there. And you have to distribute all the way through. Okay, this is why we have to know our integers. What's a negative 3 times a positive 3x? All you do is multiply these numbers. It's negative 9. Excellent. Negative 9. Don't forget the x. And then you have to do these. Now, this one's going to be tougher. Because, Corey, now what we're doing is we're mixing multiplication with addition. So now we have to remember our rules. This is a negative 3 times a negative 2. Let me write that down. Plus a negative 3 times a negative 2. What's that give me? Plus or minus? Plus 6. Is that okay, Josh? Well, what's the next one going to give me? No negatives in this one. 3 times 2. It is, isn't it? 3 times 2 is 6. What's the next one, next term? These are called terms. They're added together. 6 plus what? 3x. These are just the baby steps. Pardon? It doesn't matter as long as it's plus. Now, to do number five, I think I would prefer to simplify that before I distribute. Or I could distribute. It doesn't matter. Do you want to add these up? Can we add them up? Are there any similar terms in here? There's an x, 1x here, and a 2x there, which makes it 3x plus 2. Now we can distribute. We should talk about why we can do that, by the way. So negative 2 times a 3x is negative 6x. And then you have to distribute over here. A negative 2 times a positive 2. I'll write it. You can go right to the answer and get it right. I have no problems. What's that going to give me? That one, do you know? What's 2 times 2? What's 2 times 2? 4. What's a positive times a negative? No? Negative. That's why we have to have that. Now, if you need to use your calculators to do the arithmetic, that's fine. And there's a way to do this on these fancy calculators as well. So we can do it. I find it out for you. Questions on it? This isn't so bad, is it? Why is it that 2x, let's write that down. Why is 2x plus 3x equal to 5x? Why do we add the 2 and the 3? Can we undistribute? Could we reverse this? Could we have seen that there was something multiplied both by the 2 and the 3? What was distributed? Can we undo our distributive property? What if I do that? Is that the same as 2x plus 3x? Corey, is this the same thing? If I distribute, that would give me 2x. And if I distribute that, that would give me 3x. By the way, when I undistribute, it's called factoring. Why is it I can add the 2 and 3 
because I know how to do that. And that's important. That's going to be important later on. So that's the reason why you add the two and the three. I couldn't do that. I couldn't talk about it until I talked about distributed property. I'll probably come back and hit on it again. But, you know, especially like if you're doing, some of you have problems with uh, negative x minus 3x. Some of you have problems with doing that one. Well, let's, let's reverse the distributed property. What was multiplied through? The x is the same. If I take it out of there, what's left here? What number is really there? It's a negative what? There's a number there. Dominic, what number is there? 1 minus 3. So then what is a negative 1 minus 3? Corey, do you know that one? Uh-huh. It's negative 1 minus 3, minus a positive 3. It's 1 to the left, and then 3 more to the left. So it's 4. So this is x times negative 4. Well, we write it this way, negative 4x. I'm just doing the same as this. We just were adding the numbers in front. I'm just making it a little clearer how we add the numbers in front. Hopefully. Oh, are we done with this one? Oh, okay. So that one's done. Now we'll come back to the other one. I think this is going to work. <laughs> there. Now that's what we should have. Next, it's on the page, it is, there it is. So we're going to do this before we do the worksheets. And then we have some practice. And we haven't done things that are too terrible. What now? Why is this going to work? What is that? 2x and 2x. Because if I undistribute this, it's this. That's right, that's 5x. How about the second one? What should we be doing with me? Okay, this gives me 7x, right? Yeah. Is that the same as, are these the same? Yeah. These are just the building blocks for solving algebraic equations and for graphing, things like that, that we're going to be doing. Okay. Which ones are similar here? Negative 2x. Excellent, Corey. Good job. That's tricky. Oh, isn't it? Okay. So, we're doing this distributed property. Is this okay? I could undistribute that if I wanted to. Now, the distributed property says, as you said, that if you have a number out here, We'll call it A. Who cares what we call it? It's just a number. You multiply A times the first number times B plus and then A times C. So I'll do these two with you and then I'm going to have you turn the page and try this other one. So what's this going to give me? Keaton, what's this going to give me? 5x plus 45. Is this easy or hard? You need to write these down. Now, this one's a little trickier. You don't like that negative 3 there. Should we change the order? If I do 2 times 3, is that the same as 3 times 2? I can do it backwards. So I'm going to do a negative 3 times 4. Let me write it because I don't want to mess up my signs. And then it's minus x times a negative 3. That might bother you. I don't know. Is that okay? Josh, what do I get with the first one? Guess what? Negative 12. Now what happens here? This is the trickiest part. What happens to two negatives? Becomes positive and then 3x. Don't forget the x is positive. I would have probably preferred to see it negative 3 times 4 minus x. That just reads better to me, but it doesn't matter. They're both correct. Okay, Dominic? Okay, so you are going to try some of these. Maybe somebody will come up to the board and put their answers up there. 
Also, it says determine if you need to, to distribute or not. So, try those. We'll come around and check. Everybody should have a pencil. Write them out, down. Yeah, on your sheet, there's no parentheses after the five, but there should be a number two. Sorry. Yes. That's what's nice. So we're going to come around and help you. Try them. Do this one. you got to do all these. Guys, I'm going to collect this handout. You need to do it. Watching doesn't do you any good. I watched the football game last night. Yeah, it was pretty sad. 45 to 7. Yes, it was just awful. Okay. Maybe that's what the Vikings are doing. Maybe they're not practicing. Maybe that's why they lose so badly. you got to do it. Vikings haven't won any highly against anybody. But the point is, is if you're going to be good at something, you practice. Andrew does skateboarding. You're out there skateboarding all the time, aren't you? As much as you can. And he's probably pretty good. If I did it, I'd watch him all day long. If I did it, I'd kill myself. <laughs> You guys should have remotes for this. <laughs> I have a remote on my phone, but I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Let's see which one. There's a negative one here. Yeah, just distribute. Negative times the T. Because they don't want to write it. We're lazy. Pardon? Yeah, I'm going to come around and check you guys. 48 plus 8X. Good. And there's a parenthesis here. Well, it's a negative one. All it's going to do is change the, every sign inside to its opposite. So is it a positive field will become a negative field. So don't forget the opposite five. Opposite everybody. One T. That's right.
Is the next one got distributed property? For this to be distributed property, it would have to be 8 plus t times 14. It's not, it's not times, is it? Plus. So we can just get rid of the parentheses. It's 8 plus t plus 14. Can I add any of those? Yeah. What's that give you? 8 plus 14. We have $8. We give you 14 more. How much money will you have? You have eight dollars. I'm gonna give you fourteen more. How much money do you have? Twenty-two. Now this is a combination. The next one, I've got distributed property with other things in there. That's what's gonna happen in the in the real world. So, order of operation says we have to do our parentheses first. Okay. Now. Dean, we write down the 4y. We don't ignore it. It's still there. But now I'm going to do this piece. Plus, what's 3 times y? This is tough. What's 3 times y? 3y. Oh, don't you love it? It's so easy. Keep it easy. Don't make math hard. Math is not hard, actually. And then I'm going to get a negative 3, right? Plus a negative 3 or minus 3, it's the same thing. Can I simplify this more? Can I add a 4y and a 3y? Yeah, how many y's do I have? Close. 4 plus 3 is 7y. And you can do plus a negative 3 or you can have 7y minus 3. They are both the same. I don't really care. So that was a mixture of distributive property. They get kind of hard. We'll go to a worksheet after this. Let's look at the next th next two or three, whatever they are. These guys. Can I do this one? No. Now, I want to undistribute. What was distributed here? What's the same in both terms? Okay, guys. Focus. Focus. Gosh, what number is the same in both of these terms? So I'm going to work backwards. 3 times what would give me 3x? What has to go here to make this work? How do you get 3x out of 3 and what? What letter has to go there? What well, letter you can think of, what letter is going here? X. And you were saying, it can't be that easy. Math has never been that easy. It is. 3 times what gives you 3m? M. This one's harder because it's all letters. But what letter is the same here? The X. And here's a way I can do it, too. What I do sometimes is I cover up the threes. And see what's left? X plus M. So I'm going to cover the Xs, pull the X out. And once I take the Xs out, what am I left here? Whoops. Y. That sign stays the same, and I take the x out, w. Does that help? That's what I do when I, when I write teach algebra. I'm going to pull the x out, it's called factoring, and what's left, that's what's left. So the x is y, the x is w, the backwards. You can do it backwards. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see what I got here for handouts, because I'm looking at the rest of this. It looks kind of hard. Oh, we already have this, don't we? Oh, yeah, you've already got this. This is, I don't know why I ran it twice, but I did. Okay, so let's just, oh boy. Now let's stay with our packet. I'm looking at these. These are kind of hard. But we may not get to a worksheet today. We may just do a packet. Okay, so if you turn the page, try the top two. Ignore all that stuff. Oh, I can't even see that. Let's see if I can change the color. Why can't I change the color? Okay, I'll write it. 
this is 3 times x plus 2. And this is the tough one. Look at the page. It's the very top. That page. Okay. So you turn your page. So you should be able to do the first one without too much of a problem. And then what do I get with the first one? What do I get here? And you know what that is? 3x, but don't forget to distribute plus 6. I know it may look goofy, but I'm going to do this for... Okay, let me think about all day. <laughs> At least 40 years. <laughs> At least. This one's the tough one. What happens with this one? We multiply these two together. Now I write it out. It's a negative 5 times a negative 3x minus 6 times a negative 5. No? What's negative 5 times negative 3? Got two mistakes. Positive, that's one mistake. So it's a positive 15x. And then what happens when I multiply? You forget to multiply the negative 5 times the 6. First, just ignore the signs. What's 5 times 6? 30. Now you've got to figure out what the signs are. And this is a negative times a negative. Well, I wrote it this way. Negative times negative, so it's plus, plus or minus. Plus. Is that okay? Because we're going to step it up a notch yet. Is that okay? We did all these. Don't want to do this again. Did that, did that. There we go. There's the next one. I don't know why they're mixed up like that. And I didn't fix the spark board. I just fixed your handout. That should be the next thing we're going to see. Now it's getting harder. But we have our rules. You guys play sports? I play golf. The rule book's pretty thin, but the, the rulings over the course of the years is like really thick. And sometimes we have to get the pros out there to actually do rulings when I'm in tournaments. So you got another ruling. You got another rule. No? Because it's not parentheses around the 2x minus 3. Board of Operations says we have to do what's well, inside the parentheses, except I can't. I don't know how to do that. So I've got to remove parentheses this way. So I'm going to leave the 2x there. And I'm going to mark it wrong if you, don't, if you just don't write it down again, because you're going to mess it up. Now, this is really plus a negative 3. So it's going to be plus a negative 3 times the 3x. You've got to take the sign with you. That's the most common mistake that's going to happen. Plus, and then it's a negative 3 times a positive 4. Usually the negative sign gets omitted, and that's a problem. So the 2x is just kind of tagging along. We have to distribute. We have to get rid of parentheses before we can add the 2x. So do you see what I did? I took the negative 3, I multiplied by 3x, the negative 3 times 4. So it's 2x. What's a negative 3 times 3x? Negative 9x. Or I could do minus x. Plus a negative 12. See why we have to know our signs? This is the problem. You may use a calculator if you want to. Can I add these? What does that give me? Positive or negative? Negative. There's more negatives than there are positives. Plus a negative 12. Or you could write negative 7x minus 12. Oh man, I gotta do two. Pardon? I get two distributed properties in B. Do you see them? I gotta do this one, and I gotta do this one. Now, the safest thing to deal with this minus four here is make it plus 
a negative force lead, a negative sign goes through that parenthesis. That's going to be where the mistake is going to be. You're not going to want to put it in. First one's not too bad. What do we get for the first one? What's this give us? How many? What's this give us? 6 times 2. 12 x. And now we do this one. 6 times 5 is 30. Is it positive or negative? It's a positive 6 times a negative 5. It's negative. Those calculators will do these two, of course, too. Okay, what about this one? Plus, what's a negative 4 times 3? Brian, what's that? Positive or negative? Negative. And a negative 4 times 2 is a negative 8. Now, which ones are alike? The minus 12x and the positive 12x. Oh, that's nice. What happens to those? I give you 12x's and I'm taking them away. How much do you have? None. So those are gone. And then these are similar. A minus 30 and a minus 8. Excellent. I need a 38. Hey, can you guys try these next two? Nope. I gave you 12x's and I took them all back. How many x's do you have? Nothing. That's all we're doing is collecting. So try this. Here's your distributive property. We'll come around and help you. Here's your distributive property here. What am I going to do with this minus 2? Make it plus a negative. There's your distributive property. Try those. Not any big rush. We're going to be doing this for a couple days. 